Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Many of you may remember that I used to do video blogging and then I kind of stopped. Um, life got busy and I had a lot going on so I haven't done many of them lately but I do have a long list of topics to cover that I've been thinking about and researching lately so I'm excited to be back doing video blogging. One thing that did change is my last name. I did recently get married. Well, it's been a year now. Um, my last name is now App, so I am Elizabeth App. I am a licensed massage therapist, and I am owner of Restorative Health LLC in Centerville. Um, I am not a doctor, but I enjoy video blogging because I have a passion for researching all kinds of different holistic avenues, and I also do a lot of research for my clients for different issues that they have going on. And I've also struggled with a lot of health problems myself, so I enjoy uh, researching different topics. So today I am going to be talking about fascia because I've been getting a lot of questions about fascia, mainly because I've been doing a lot of cupping, and I'll get into that later, um, thanks to the Summer Olympics and Michael Phelps. A lot of clients have been coming to me wanting cupped recently. So I'm going to start off with the internet definition of fascia, just so you know what the heck is fascia. Fascia is a band or sheet of connective tissue and it's primary, primarily collagen. It's right beneath the skin and it attaches, stabilizes, encloses, and separates muscle and other internal organs. I always describe it to my clients as sort of like a spider web. It's a bodysuit. It covers your entire body. It's like a glorified body stocking. Um, it's two millimeters underneath your skin. Um, another scenario I can give you is if you eat an orange, each orange slice is encased in that white kind of, um, I don't know really what it's called, it's not a tissue, but that white stuff that separates each orange slice. That's sort of what fascia is like. It's encasing each one of your muscles and your organs. And it's also holding everything together. So since it was covered a lot in the Olympics, I found a great article about um, five reasons that fashion should matter to athletes. Um, but this can ring true to anyone, anyone in manufacturing or landscaping or massage therapy or yoga instructors, um, anyone that moves their body um, a lot on a daily basis. And that could be any one of us. So number one is fascia is a tensional fluid system. If you imagine a sponge, when a sponge gets dry, it's very brittle and kind of flaky. And that's how um, our fascia can get if it's not well hydrated. But if the sponge is uh, wet, it's soft and supple. So that's why hydration is so important for everyone, not just athletes. Um, number two is variation matters. Movement will drive water out of the tissue. So again, you need rest and hydration um, to make your fascia soft and supple, and also your muscle. Number three is it's all connected. Um, a couple scenarios is um, you can get in a car crash when you're age 16, and then in college you can have nagging neck and shoulder pain, and a lot of times people think that it's something that they are currently doing that's causing that pain, but it could have been something that happened in the past. That's the issue with fascia is that it will get stuck down and it will cause problems later in life from something that happened in the past. You can, low back pain can develop, and then after that, plantar fasciitis can develop in a runner, and so then the runner's told that the running is bad for them, when the running may not even be the problem. It could be the fascia is stuck in the low back, creating a lot of other problems. It's like the saying, the hip bone is connected to the thigh bone. It's all connected by your fascia. Number four is, so we have the juiciness and the hydration. Along with the, kind, the connectiveness, we get springiness of our body with our fascia. And so we use less muscle power to do the things that we do on a daily ba basis, which makes us fatigued less rapidly. So if you want to jump higher, run faster, or throw farther as an athlete, you have to pay attention to nourishing the elastic quality of your fascia. Number five, it is the largest and richest sensory organ of the body. 
It is possible that fascia may be equal or superior to your retina in your eye. Therefore, well hydrated, supple, and freely moving fascia is crucial to maintaining your natural settings of your alignment and the functions of your body. That's how important it is. It's very, very important. It's almost more important than your muscle and your bone because it's holding it all together. So another example I can give you is if I pull on my shirt here, you can see how it affects my whole entire shirt. That's how your fascia is. So you can literally have something, your fascia stuck down, down here in your lower back and it can be referring pain um, up here in your upper back. I do a lot of cupping on people's backs. I have done other body parts, but um, mainly backs because that's where most people have their issues. And at my practice, I do soma cupping. These are the cups. They're medical grade silicone cups and they um, suck to your skin and I use them to pull up, to pull the fascia, to release it, to get blood really flowing in there. It is extra detoxing. So I always recommend people drink lots of water. Um, but traditional cupping is where they would put the fire underneath a glass cup and suck it to the skin. Um, and then there's also machines now that um, will hook into the top of the cup and it will create an even higher suction than these. I don't typically leave a lot of rings on my clients because I'm moving them around more. Occasionally I do leave them in one place and it will create the ring um, that you saw in the Summer Olympics. But typically I do not. Um, typically it does not hurt clients. Um, they love it. They come back. They want um, cupped again. So um, that is my little spiel about fascia today. I hope you do more research on your own. That's the whole point of this. Um, just to get your mind working and let you know how important things are. I just want you to live your best life possible. And thank you for tuning in. I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be back with um, a new topic in next week, so I um, hope you tune into that, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, peace and love.